Uh, my name is Timothy Henrich, and I'm affiliated with the University of California in San Francisco. So our current research uh, really is growing from some prior MFAR funded work on stem cell transplantation or bone marrow transplant to cure HIV. Uh, and what we've been learning is that harnessing the immune system and various aspects of the immune system and boosting that immune response to HIV is probably critical uh, in gaining a functional cure or long-term ART or antiretroviral 3 remission uh, for HIV. So uh, we're looking at um, various uh, immunomodulating drugs that can essentially boost the immune system uh, and make a favorable environment for HIV eradication. Excellent. So what's been the most exciting HIV cure research finding in the last year or so? Uh, there's been a lot of very exciting work going on. I, it's hard to say that just one, <laughs> one specific, uh, one specific uh, example for in the last year or so. But uh, I, I think it's a really exciting time right now because we're just starting to think about how to combine different therapies together, whether it's immune therapies, antiviral therapies, uh, how to purge the the HIV reservoir, but at the same time. Um, use multiple strategies at once to really do this. So I think this is what's going to take uh, to cure HIV going forward and I think everyone is now uh, fully on board and, and moving towards this direction. So it's really exciting to see that starting to happen. AMFAR has been critical in supporting my work, uh, especially as a junior faculty and a junior uh, researcher uh, was uh, provided funding and support and uh, at a critical time when it was just um, uh, really important to building our our research, our research group, and to really getting us connected actually with other researchers within MFAR and outside. And you just recently got a new AMFAR grant. Can you tell us a little bit about that one? Sure. We're really excited about this one, actually. So uh, we're working together with uh, Afa Mokuye up at uh, Oregon Health Sciences and um, Cheryl Cameron down at the Case Western uh, University in Cleveland. And essentially, we want to look at uh, a drug called serolimus. The name's not important. That uh, essentially what we think, when used in combination with agents that can reactivate the reservoir, uh, will allow the immune system to really target and clear uh, that residual HIV. Uh, so we have uh, studies in both humans, animals, and the lab research and uh, laboratory. And we're actually we're really excited to get this going. And I think there's some prelim data at this conference and some others to suggest that this is really the direction that we should be taking. I'm going to take a wild guess that we already know the answer to the next question. How optimistic are you that we're going to find a cure in the next five or ten years? <laughs> so I'm an optimist, or otherwise I wouldn't be in science. <laughs> uh, no, I think, uh, you know, we, we've had some near misses, I guess, in the past few years. Um, but, you know, you can't do everything right the first time. That's just not, just not how it works. We have made great leaps in the last few years. We've made great strides. I think we've had a huge understanding of how the science is working. And now we know where to go. And I think now that we kind of know where we need to go. If you have a destination, you can reach it.